Hi, my name is Manny Martinez. I'm at San Pedro Driving Range. I'm out here on the par three, and uh, I'm a Class A golf professional. And today I'm going to show you how to hit a pitch inside 50 yards. The specific kind of pitch that I'm going to show you is a pitch called the hinge and hold. This is a shot that you need to execute here in Texas because of the ground condition that we have here with Bermuda, with tough lies, with the hard caliche that's under the ground. And you may not know this, but the best ball strikers in the world have come out of Texas. Ben Hogan, Lee Trevino, Brian Nelson, Ben Crenshaw, all these guys have learned to hit this shot. This is a shot you're going to use over and over at every round that you have. So let me show you how this is done. Go through the steps on how to hit a hinge and hole. The first thing we have to have is the right club to hit this with. We want to use it with either a sand wedge or a lob wedge, okay? Those are the only two clubs that we want to use to execute. The reason for that is these clubs have a bounce on it that will keep it from digging too much, okay? And so let me show you, first of all, the setup. The setup is you want to put the club right behind the ball. You want to have your feet completely together. Then you want to take your left foot and flare it out a little bit and drop it back so we get your left hip out of the way. And you want to take a little step with your right foot. Basically, what we're wanting is the ball to be a little forward of center. At this point, we want to stand tall right there, and we want to put 90% of your weight on your left foot right there, just like that. Now, that's the, that's the setup for a hinge and hold. What this allows you to do is come down with a steep angle attack so we don't get a lot of grass get caught between the club face and the ball. Okay, so now the swing. The actual swing is really very easy. The temple is kind of one, two. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our wrist and abruptly hinge up as we let our shoulder rock back. Once we come to this position, we are set. We have created a hinge. You see this angle here? And then what we're going to do now is take our right shoulder, rock it down and through the shot with a steep angle of attack. Two things we don't want to have happen at impact is let the toe pass the heel like this or let the right hand turn over the left. All we're trying to do is hinge, steep down, and hold. That'll put a lot of backspin on the ball. It'll get you right up there by the pin. You're either going to knock it in or you're going to make par. Okay. You're going to have There's two problems uh, that a lot of students and golfers encounter when they're trying to learn to hit the hinge and hold. The first one is they're wanting to help the ball up by flipping their hands. We don't want to do that. The second problem is deceleration, taking the club too far back, realizing they're going to hit it too far, and they end up decelerating. Those two things are stroke killers, and we don't want to do them. So there's a good drill you can practice to keep from flipping that right hand in front of your body and from deceleration. It's called the one-hand drill, and Paul here is going to demonstrate how that is done. Paul, what I want you to do is grab the club in your right hand, choke down on it, I want you to take your left hand, put it across your chest, just like that. I want you to take the same setup that we have, take a couple of practice swings real quick, and hinge up, and then hit down on it. What we want to do is teach you how to train your hands and arms independently, then we're going to put them together like a team. Okay, go ahead and hit this. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, now let's do it with the other hand. Take your right hand, put it on your hip, choke down a little bit, take a couple of practice swings. Just like that. And as soon as you get the feel, then go ahead and put your hands in. Go ahead and hit this shot. Wow, excellent. Now put both hands together. After you do them independently, now you have your arms and hands trained to work together as a team. Beautiful. That ball went in the hole. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, baby. <laughs>